So next what I want you to do is I want you to make a list. We're going to do, we're moving into this place of imagination. So we're going to do an imaginary plant and animal. So we've got two paintings for that. And we're going to do, we're going to make two lists on paper. One list is all the things that you're grateful for. So make a list of everything that you're grateful for. Family, um, school, not being sick. Um, anti-racism just all the things that are happening that you're actually grateful for you know new clothes a video game <laughs> the color red and then you're gonna make another list and it's the things that I need help with what do you need help with one of the students wrote down a uh, time management you know do you need help with money do you need help with uh, self-esteem so you're gonna make a whole list and then one of these paintings you're gonna designate as a gratitude painting and the other painting is going to be a helper spirit. So we're stepping into this world of imaginary art, imaginary imagery. You know, here's a student, they're beginning to work on a piece and they're, um, they've got their, a dragon happening. And so the play thing about on this one, they didn't finish it, but the awareness of negative space, right? They're painting the positive space, but we also want the negative space being painted. This piece is fun and great, so it looks like an imaginary, I guess, plant, right? It's just crazy and fun. And um, there's your, there's the gradations, right? So it goes from white to black, and then there's all the values. So this is a perfect painting that way. So then we're using the paint that we mixed into our paintings. And remember, one's going to be vertical and one's going to be horizontal. Um, you know, there's a piece that's got values in it. Now they they painted over most of their background, but still there's there's the, the values that they're working on. And if you squint, these two would need to be changed because you can't see the difference of them, right? So they're not they're not quite set up well. There's too much dark there. There's on that. So what I did was I did a um, I did a little sketch. So we're using this thing on all of our paintings called the Rule of Thirds. You can see it in there. I'm doing another uh, class about it. So the rule of thirds is in there. And then I just, I did a little sketch. I did a little sketch of, of um, a little plant there. I was gonna make that. And so then from that sketch, then I came back and I started to draw it. So I've got a white pencil. And then I'm strategically, these spots right here are my power spots on my painting. Right there, right there, right there, right there. So this is where the eye moves around the most. Rule of thirds, one third, one third, one third, and uh, or one third, one third, one third. And so I'm strategically placing things, elements, design things there. So there we go. Have fun. So here's my imaginary plant, and this is my gratitude painting, and I um, have the different levels of grays and blacks and steps, and then all of those are in mixed into the piece, and um, I even did some splattering. So this is in oils, and then this is my... Um, This is my helper spirit. This is about finding a house. And then the last part of this is like, how do you clean up with, with, with the oil paints? So the, the way that I'm gonna clean up then is I have my brushes in turpentine. And so what I'm first gonna do is just wipe it off on my paper towel. Dip it in, wipe it off on my paper towel. This helps the turpentine not get as messed up. And the moment your turpentine gets too messed up, you need to swap it out and dump it back in your jar and pour some more because it needs to be cleaned 
to work. So if I mix this into white paint, it'll just make it gray. So what I'm doing is I'm using my paper towel as a blotter, right? I'm pushing down onto it and I'm, I'm gently turning it. And I'm gonna keep doing that until I have the sense that I have most of the paint out. So I, I'm gonna do that to all my brushes, even the big ones that I've used. So anything, everything needs to get, get cleaned. And you don't really want oil paint on your hands. It's toxic. You want to have an environment where you've got good circulation of air. Um, so I'm going to clean all of these this way. And um, then I'm going to take the, the brushes to the sink. The oil paint, turpentine, does not go to the sink at all. It never goes down the drain. What I'm going to do is I will pour it back in here. Once I'm all done with everything, I'm going to pour it back into here. And it will settle out over the night. And if I have a lot left in my jar, I'm actually going to mix it up and pour it back into here. So I've got a clean jar in that. And then this paper towel also needs to go to somewhere where it's not inside, it's outside. Uh, at school we have these fire bins, so learn about um, what to do and how to take care of your studio the best um, with these paper towels. Okay, I think that's about it.